everyone this is julie thank you for stopping by for another video today and in this video i'll be touching on the red clover i'll be playing an excerpt of dr sebi speaking on some of the wonderful benefits of red clover for women if you have not done so please remember to subscribe to the backup channel the dr sebi information i'll have a link down below and as for the sisters, you see in this boy here, isn't it? All over the place. It's right in the yard next door. <laughs> in the fields, it grows crazy. And what is this? This is called what? Red clover. Nothing better for a woman uterus than this. You make a dish with this and you drink it. You drink this and you all make it for a dish. Like if you take a good handful of it, a good lot of it, and boil some water, put it to soak, you make a dish. Endometriosis, vaginal discharge, weak muscles, whatever. Red clover. But you see, we were not shown these things in school, right? So we don't know. But it's right there for us, right? In the next yard, there is life, not in the supermarket. The red clover is scientifically known as Trifolium pratense, and the parts of the red clover that is primarily used are the flowering tops. Red clover's therapeutic properties include alterative, deobstruent, sedative, nutritive. In addition to the uses noted by Dr. Sebi, the red clover is also used for conditions such as rickets and similar wasting conditions, spasmodic conditions, whooping coughs, among many others. It is very easy to prepare red clover for medicinal use. In fact, you could prepare red clover in as little as 15 to 20 minutes. For an infusion, get one ounce of red clover tops and approximately one pint of distilled water. Add the red clover tops to a container, boil the water and pour the water onto the herb. Cover and allow it to steep for about 15 minutes. Strain and allow to cool. You could have a cup full of this three to four times per day between meal. Children's dosages will be less according to their age. Very good remedy for wheezing, bronchitis, where there is a lack of energy or where one feels weak. So that's a little bit on the red clover. If you have any questions, let me know down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. 